Hey guys. So this week I was asked what would make for an awesome YouTube beginner setup. So exactly what equipment, lighting, and software you need. I actually am a beginner on YouTube. I've only been posting consistently for about three months now. And my setup is really easy and affordable so you can steal mine and get started on YouTube as well. All right, let's start with lighting. Really natural light is fantastic. So if you have a big window like this one, you can just put yourself in front of it, uh, making sure to face the window and you're going to look great. Unfortunately for me, there has been construction outside of my house for the past few months, which means I've had to film at night with artificial lighting. Yep. <laughs> Plus, I recently set up my home office to be super cute, so yes, I did want this background, which, by the way, was super affordable to do. Now, when it comes to your background, I think just something simple and visually interesting is a good way to go. So, depending on what your setup is like at home, uh, that's going to determine whether or not you can just use natural light or you need to invest in lighting. If you're like me and you need to get lighting, I recommend getting a double softbox lighting setup. This is going to give you some really nice light. Just make sure that you use cool white bulbs versus warm white, and this will give you a bright, clean look and just look a, look a lot more traditionally white. So this is what I see when I'm sitting down and then I have softbox number one over there and softbox number two right there. Alright, so first things first and that's the camera. I actually just use my computer webcam. This is the C920 Logitech HD webcam and I really like it just because it's quite quick and convenient to use. I also think the quality is just fine. So have a look at my videos and decide whether the quality is good enough for you. Um, but so all I need to do is open it like this. Then I hook it up to the back of my laptop. And then I plug it in. And what's great about this is then I can use a free software that comes with my Mac and I can just immediately record and have my audio hooked up as well so I don't have to sync that afterwards. So, but first let me show you my mic. So I absolutely love this mic. It's the Audio Technicia AT 2005 USB mic. So it comes in this little box with a stand, just put it like that, put it on. And I've just found the sound to be really good with this mic. So as I was saying, the reason this makes it so fast is that I can just use a free software where my camera and audio are already going to be synced. So the software is QuickTime. So if you haven't got a Mac yet and you know you're debating getting a new computer, I highly recommend getting a MacBook Pro. So you're going to go into QuickTime, then click File, New Movie Recording. So that is going to pull up your webcam. And you just need to make sure that you hit this little arrow next to the record button and make sure that it's connected to the right camera and your microphone. All right, awesome. So you might have to do some adjusting. So I actually always prop up my computer so that it's not, you know, so that the angle is not like coming from here. So I just grab this box because I haven't found anything better yet and lift up my computer and put it underneath. All right, so then I can adjust it how I want. Awesome, and then to record, I just hit the button in the middle 
and that's going to start recording and it's getting my HD camera, my mic already connected. And when I'm done, I just hit the record button in the middle. So this is a super easy setup and was quite affordable as well. Now let's say that you're just getting started and you don't want to invest in a webcam or a mic yet. You can actually just use your iPhone. I'm on my iPhone 7 right now and the camera quality is awesome, as is the sound. So if you're really just looking to give it a try and see if you even like posting videos, then I would recommend just using your iPhone. And finally, it's time to edit your video. I highly recommend using the free software that comes with your Mac and that's iMovie. It's actually really awesome, yet so simple at the same time. So what you're going to do is you're going to come in here, click Create New, then Movie, and this is what your basic editor looks like. So you're just going to open up that file that you just did. Here's another bonus of doing things this way is that all of your files are already on your computer. Um, you know, if I was using a proper camera, then I would need to sync up the audio and then load it to my computer. And so this just completely eliminates that step. So I'm going to grab that file that I just did and drag it in down here. So what you're going to do is you can just hit the space bar to play it. And then when you find where you need to cut, just line up this vertical line here. Click Command B. That's going to split it into two different clips. And then you can just delete the one that you don't want. So there we go. <laughs> so you would just go through and do that again. Click Command B. Um, and delete sections that you don't want. And then another thing I do is I just highlight my clips, highlight both of those clips, click this half circle icon up here, and then I select auto, and that's just going to uh, color correct a bit and make me look a bit more alive, which is nice. <laughs> and then there's actually a lot of other things that you can do um, in terms of editing. As you can see, there's more color correction up here. You can crop in. You can stabilize shaky video. Um, so go through all of the features here and I think you'll be quite impressed with this program. Another thing that I do, um, you will have seen in my videos, you know, I have some more graphics and movement. I do use, use Adobe Premiere Pro when I'm doing things like that, but you can still do a basic variation with this program. So let's say I wanted to add in my logo I would just grab in that file and I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna drag it on top of my video clip already. Then I'm going to click on that image and then you'll see a drop down up here. Just change that to picture in picture. Awesome, there we go, looking better. But then you also need to click on the crop icon up here and then fit, okay back to picture in picture and as you can see now it's showing my whole logo and you can insert it wherever you want. So that's another thing that I do and then of course you're probably going to want to add in some titles. Just go up here to where it says titles and you'll see a few different options. Um, let's say I just wanted a basic one. Okay, so I'm gonna grab that and I'm just going to drag it. So it's very much a drag and drop software, um, which makes it super easy. So you'd add in your title. Okay, let's play that. Okay, so as you can see, like it was already a bit animated. So you have all of these options in here. So you could also use transitions. Let's say I wanted to fade to white. I can just grab that, go in between my two clips. Then let's play that. So you can see that's given me a nice transition. So there's a lot that you can do with this software. If you would like me to do a more in-depth tutorial, just let me know in the comments below. 
But yeah, all you need to do, so you've done your editing, you've added your logo, you've added a title, awesome. Now you just go file, share, file, name your file and upload it to YouTube. And that's it, that's all that you need to do and now you can upload your video to YouTube. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. If you like this video, make sure to let me know by giving it a thumbs up and hitting subscribe. And if you have any questions at all, just leave them for me in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.